we have studied about physical changes and chemical changes but how do physical and chemical changes differ we will study about this today we all know that melting of an ice cream is a physical change because when the ice cream melts only the physical appearance of the ice cream changes its chemical composition remains the same the ice cream can be frozen back to become the same ice cream however burning of wood this is a chemical change because the tree does not remain the same tree anymore there is a new substances are formed here as heat and light and carbon dioxide are the new substances that are formed and the chemical composition of the tree changes it changes into a new one so this is a chemical change so what are the difference between physical and chemical changes first of all physical change is a temporary change as it can be reversed just in our example of the ice cream the melted ice cream can be reversed back to the frozen ice cream now chemical change is a permanent change it cannot be reversed in our example of burning of wood can you reverse it back to form the same tree no it is always a permanent change now new no new substances are formed when a physical change takes place the chemical composition remains unchanged we know that when the ice cream melts it does not form a new substance it remains the same ice cream so no new substance is formed and as no new substance is formed there is no change in its chemical composition it remains the same whereas in a chemical change new substances are formed this is a main thing to check when a chemical change takes place chemical compositions changes the chemical composition of the matter that undergoes chemical change it changes its taste its odor its chemical formula all changes now individual properties are retained we can say that when a matter goes physical change no new substance is formed so the original substance retains its individual properties it remains the same ice cream whereas when matter undergoes chemical change individual properties are not retained for example when we had burned the wood the the wood does not retains its individual properties it changed into ashes when it was burnt now do you know there are some changes where physical and chemical changes takes place simultaneously let us take one example like burning of a candle it contains both a physical change and a chemical change when it burns how let's see some wax melts and resolidifies on cooling as wax which is this wax now you can see when the candle burns this wax melts and resolidifies here so we can see that when the candle is burning the wax is melting and again becoming the same wax so this is a physical change as we are getting this wax back it is not changing into a new substance now where does chemical change come in some wax burns with the flame and turns into vapor now when the candle is burning some wax is burning with the flame we cannot see that wax because it has melted and changed into a new substance that is vapor so what are the new substances formed first of all carbon dioxide is formed that is in the air and water vapor is formed out of the wax that has gone up with the flame so this is a chemical change so we saw that burning of a candle includes a physical change and a chemical change as well 